Hello fellow YouTubers, Trouble835 here with a pickups video. Uh, as I showed you guys last video, my wife got E7 for her birthday. And she absolutely loves this game. She's logged 17 hours into it. She's played it nonstop. She saw the instruction booklet in here that says, you know, E's 1 and 2's coming out and E's 3 for the PSP. She wants to get them all when they come out. She loves this game. But what'd she do? Because she reads the same video games and magazines as I did after she, after she saw this. And she goes, why didn't you get the premium edition? Because I didn't know if you'd like it. But anyway, she loves this game. Another story about this game. So the only we have a char car charger for the PSP, right? So she couldn't find it after I got this game. She thought it looked interesting. And so what she do? She went out to Walmart. And now a guy would go to Walmart and get a PSP charger only. No, no, no. For 20 bucks, she went to Walmart. She got a charger that charges three things at once. It'll charge a PSP, it'll charge a DS, and I believe the third one's either for the DSi or the DXL, but anyway, so it charges all three. So anyway, she's really loving this game. So next game I got her for her birthday, PSP game, is Brave Story New Traveler. It's an RPG, got it for $12.95. Now it says on the back, Fuji Television, so I'm curious if this ever came out on, it was an anime or anything, but I love the box art of this. Now this is more of a um, for my wife, this is more of a nostalgic thing. I got her Lunar Silver Star Harmony for the PSP because she originally owned the Lunar One box set and she got rid of it and now she's kicking herself in the butt for it. She really loved that game. I watched her play that game for hours till she beat it um, from beginning to end. So I got this for her if she ever wants to go down and uh, try to play it again. So Now the next couple games I got her for her birthday for the PlayStation 1 uh, the first one, they're more of a uh, nostalgic and a joke too. The first game I got her, we played a lot uh, on the PlayStation 1. And then for $3.95, I picked up Rampage 2 Universal Tour. Um, I love the arcade game of Rampage. I love any Rampage game that's come out on the home console. So The next one I got her uh, for $3.95 is a collection of Intellivision games because she used to own an Intellivision as a child. So in case she ever wanted to go down memory lane, now this last game is a DS game. For a break. She put this for a birthday. She didn't have to. Um, it is Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. Um, she got this on an auction on eBay for a total of $9 including shipping together. So, uh, really cool. She's really into, interested in Zelda right now. So, so before, here I'm going to tell you another story. I get home from work today. My wife's asking me about, uh, she had gone to a garage sale today and she had saw a Game Boy Advanced SP and three games and they wanted, uh, what'd she say, $30 for all of it. And she wanted to know if that was a good price. And I said, well, I'm not looking for a Game Boy Advanced SP right now, so I, I'm not sure. So anyway, she calls my local game exchange and they say they're selling one for $37.50. She goes, well, maybe I should have got that, it was a good price. I said, maybe you should. So I go out of the room to get a drink. I come back, and here she is playing the Game Boy Advance SP. She said she was wondering if she should get it or not. So not only did she get it, she paid only 25 bucks for it. Let me show you what she got. So the first thing she got was the Game Boy Advance SP. It's pink. I don't care. Colors don't matter to me. You know what? This thing's in perfect condition. New system added to my collection. Or, excuse me, our collection. She really wants. She's been actually talking about Game Boy Advance SP for about a week and a half. So, and then it had the instruction booklet and the carrying case and three box games. First one is for the cars for the Game Boy Advance. Now, I can't let my son see this because funny story about my son. Okay, he owns this on the 360 and the Wii, right? But somehow, if he goes to a store and he sees a copy of this game on any other system, he wants it. Uh, anyway, uh, next up is uh, Disney Princess Royal Adventure. Yeah, I won't be playing this game. They're a complete box, instruction book, and everything. And the last one, Strawberry Shortcake Summertime Adventure. Hey, don't you laugh. I like Strawberry Shortcake. So... And we got the charger for it, right here. So, so I get home, and she says she found a garage sale on Craigslist that wasn't listed in the paper. She said, "You want to go?" And I said, "Okay, sure." So we go there, 
And you know when you go to a garage sale, if you've ever been garage selling, and you have that person that doesn't know about video games in a way that you wonder, are they going to, because she didn't have price on the games, is she going to charge a lot or nothing? Because, you know, those are the people that don't really know video games, and sometimes they think they're worth more than they are, or, you know. Well, anyway, she, I got it really cheap. She actually, all the games are 50 cents a piece. The first one is for the Genesis, and it's NBA Jam. Now, I already own this game. The sticker's a perfect condition, and for 50 cents, I couldn't pass it up. By the way, someday I'm going to do a trade video. Twerped a long time ago, five months ago, asked me, hey, uh, you want to do a trade and give me a list of games? And you know what? Someday I'm going to do a video and get the list out there. I just ain't organized and haven't got off my butt to do it. So someday I'm going to do it. Next up, 50 cents for the N64. Was it Wally Lou Country Club? The Golf Classics for the N64. Next up, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. And the last game I got there was Project Gotham Racing 2 for the Xbox. It has arcade on the back, too. I guess it has some games outside of It's a um, bundle package. So The last thing I got there, the lady asked me, how much do you think controllers are worth? And I said, I don't know, $2. You know, they ain't worth too much, but... Anyway, and I saw this one. I picked it up uh, anyway for two bucks. Uh, it's a Super Pad 64. I don't own this version of the Super Pad, so I picked it up. And ironically, I didn't know it at the time, but it also has a memory card in it still. So, so that is cool. By the way, she has more games, but her teenage son doesn't have them together yet. And as soon as she does, she's gonna call me and uh, let me know. She goes, "What system do you want?" I said, "Everything." Oh yeah, one other game my wife got at a garage sale I forgot to point out is that for the Nintendo DS she picked up Lost in Blue for 10 bucks. So, again, she's been very active in gaming, uh, going to Craigslist, eBay. Uh, I got a PSP to pick up this Sunday, or, or second one, because we don't share. I'll get to that in my next video. And, and a bunch of PSP games. Uh, we have another game she paid 5 bucks for on eBay for a Nintendo DS coming. It's an RPG, so. So anyway. Today we went to our local game exchange. First time we both went together and actually bought games. She let it out of the bag that she's been going there lately. So, uh, <clears throat> so she has an idea. Uh, she's, I think she's really she's going there because I think she's trying to figure out things to give me for Christmas. She, I'm gonna give her. She wants a list. I'm gonna give her a long list of a lot of old games. She asked me, do I want one expensive thing, video game thing for Christmas, or do I want a bunch of things? And my answer was a bunch. The more, the merrier. A bunch of less expensive games rather than one really expensive game because I'd like to have a lot to play. Anyway, so she went there and she did find games. The first two games she found for the Game Gear, for $1.95 she picked up Echo the Dolphin. I love the original version of this game on the Genesis. So The next game she picked up for $1.95 for the Game Gear is, funny title, Green Dog, The Beach Surfer Dude. And she picked up two Game Boy Advance titles, uh, Dexter's Laboratory, Disaster Strikes, for $9.95. And she picked this one up more for my little one than us, but uh, Cars Made Her National for $14.95. Now, right, last one, I got a funny story. This Okay, she picked up Spyro Shadow Legacy for the Nintendo DS for $12.95. Now, here's what's funny about this. She had two Nintendo DS games she picked out. On the counter, she wanted me to look at them. She goes, "Please look at them. You know, tell me which one you think I'd like." She had Donna Discovery and the Spiral game. Now, for you guys who don't know, Donna Discovery is on a PC also. It's more of an RTS. You're a typical pirate game. You're on a ship. You know, fight, fight other pirate ships, and you know, make money and plunder and all that. And I told her, you know what? You don't like RTSs. You'd probably like this game over that. And she went back and looked at them both and decided to get this game. So that's cool. So, I told her when we got there, you know, buy whatever you want. Because, quite frankly, I told her, buy whatever you want. I can easily match whatever you get. Because I can buy anything there. I could spend a million dollars there because there's so many games that I actually want there. So, the first game I'm going to show you that I got today for $1.95 is a game that Atari Leaf actually put in his recent video where he got a package from the Atari Junkie. And, yes, I'll link them both below. And... It is for $1.95. It is Snake by Dead Age. I actually played this when I was a kid. So I knew somebody who had it. You know, I'm just starting to build my Atari 2600 collection, so um, 
it is my favorite system of all time, period, the Atari 2600. My favorite. Nothing gets close to the Atari 2600 for me. Uh, for $1.95, I picked up Encounter at L5. Also for $1.95, from 20th Century Fox, Turmoil. And then last but not least, by U.S. Games, Towering Inferno. Now here's what's funny about my game exchange. They have a permanent sale on Atari 2600 games. Buy two, get one free. They keep trying to tell me that they're trying to get rid of their Atari 2600 games. But every time I go there, they have more Atari 2600 games than they had the last time I went there. One other thing I want to tell you, uh, noticing now, as you all know, it is the NES's 25th anniversary. The United States is coming up, but it's already in Japan. And I was in the game exchange the other day, actually shopping for my wife um, before I went today. And two kids came in there asking for NESs, and the lady told they were sold out because everybody's looking for one now because it's the 25th anniversary. And you know, because uh, let's be honest, everybody, when you were a kid, everybody had an NES. So a lot of people are going back to nostalgia, or the kids are going back because they heard stories from their parents that they played the NES and what great games it have. So right now, they don't have any. As soon as they get them in, they sell out. So as you all may know, the Sega Genesis is my second favorite system of all time. And I walked by the Genesis aisle, and I happened to see this, and I had to pick it up. For $3.95, Virtua Racing, with one of these big carts, because, you know, the added memory. Um, I love the Virtua series, by the way, Virtua series on the Genesis. I also love Sega's racing games. I love Daytona USA. I love any arcade racer that Sega comes out with, so I had to pick this up. I've never actually tried this before, but I, I'm gonna, I can't wait to try this. $3.95. Now, as you all may or may not know, I am a huge Godzilla fan. I got, like, all of them on DVD. Uh, my wife gets sick of me because I play them all the time. But for the NES, they had Godzilla Monster of Monsters for $4.95, and I had to pick this up. I hope this is better than Super Godzilla on the Super Nintendo because I didn't care for Super Godzilla too much. So, and for the N64 for $9.95, I picked up a box copy of Pokemon Puzzle, bleh, Pokemon Puzzle League. Now, this has the insert inside, you can clearly see, but it does not have the instruction book or anything, which is fine. I buy the game to play it, I don't buy the game to have it sit on a shelf, so. Love puzzle games. So I got two games for the PlayStation 2. And now let me remind you, my local game exchange for this Till the end of September, they're having a buy two used games, get one free, because it's their 10th anniversary. So, for the PlayStation 2, I picked up Front Mission 4 for $2.95. Because I love mech anime, I love mech games. I don't know why I never played Front Mission before, but I'm going to try this one. This next PlayStation 2 game is kind of to complete the collection, you know, because I have about every one under the sun at this point. That is Final Fantasy 12. I picked it up for $9.95. I actually ran this game. I'm over halfway done with it, I believe, so. I love Final Fantasy. And then for the GameCube, the other RPG series I love, Fantasy Star. So Fantasy Star Online Episode 3 Card Revolution. And obviously I can't play this online. I've never played this game before, so it'll be interesting. This game has everything in it, by the way. It has a huge instruction booklet. They still have the uh Get out of the way for you. They still have the original card for the uh, registration card for it. Everything. So that was cool for $9.95. And now, last but not least, the cool, cool, two cool things I picked up today. They have nothing to do about gaming. I got them each for a dollar. And that is the first one is if you're a '70s or '80s kid, you know this or like this. I guess not know it. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Color Forms Adventure Set. If you don't know what color forms are, let me show you. I don't know if it's all here. I don't really care. It was only a dollar. Okay, here's the scene of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from the 80s, right? You take the sticker off, like so, and you can put it here. Or you can put it up here. The whole point of color form is you can take any of these guys off at any time and re-stick them and stick them here. So that was just really cool. My wife saw me. When I picked up, my wife said, you're a dork. And I said, you're right. But I don't care. I like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from the 80s, so. And the coolest thing I picked up on video game related today 
for a dollar is it came out in 1977 it is a jigsaw puzzle by Kenner and that is Star Wars Corridor of Light 1500 piece jigsaw puzzle I absolutely loved Star Wars as a kid loved it watched that movie a thousand times the originals not the newer ones so that was really cool to find and get it but this made I was amazed that, first of all as soon as I saw Kenner on it I was surprised because you know I didn't know they made jigsaw puzzles but anyway so that's all my pickups guys so until my next video